It was really scary at first. Going into the unknown, you know, I didn't know what to expect. It takes you a while to adapt, but then once you adapt to it, you feel so free because you get used to your surroundings and you're exploring new things. It feels like you're in a different like, universe. It's just out of this world. I'm Ian, I'm from Malaysia. I'm an automation engineer working in the UK. I went to Queen's University Belfast and I studied mechanical engineering. I grew up in a small town called Miri in East Malaysia. I went to a very big school. I definitely struggled academically. I remember very strongly, I had this teacher. He was very critical of me. At one point, he told my dad, only God can help your child uh, <laughs> to get these grades up. That really stuck with me for quite some time because I thought I can't do well academically. My brother went to the same school. He's just on another level of hard work and dedication. He was the first one in my family to go out overseas to study. And he's one of the reasons why I wanted to come to study in the UK. I went to engineering because I was into computers. For us as a kid, it was those big dinosaur computers and then it's kind of snowballed to servicing cars and phones and, and everything. That need to want to, to understand things, that just clicked to me straight away. I'm an engineer. So I went to this education agent and I said, I would like to study mechanical engineering. I would like to be in the UK. She just came back from Belfast, Queens. She said, it's really a nice university. And I said, all right, I'll, I'll go for it. So it was really taking a plunge. But it turned out in the end, it was a really good choice because it was a really nice city, very young, very cultural. And I think starting at Intu was really good because you start off with this group of international friends and then you go into university together and you've got that sort of the family, if you like, from Intu. My brother, in the spirit of trying to emulate him, I really tried to do different things, push myself to do different things in university as well, like joining scuba diving club, from an engineer's point of view, like scuba diving is quite cool. Physics and maths and all engineering is all intertwined with nature. It's a good thing to know about your principles, but another thing is into putting in practice. One of my lecturers, he suggested if you get the chance, definitely go for internship because once you've got the theory down and then once you've seen the practical side of it, if you can link them together, it's a really strong bond. Yeah. Going for working for Airbus, doing an internship for Airbus. When I went back to uni after internship, everything made more sense. It really sort of unlocked something in my brain to say, you know what, actually, academics isn't really my strong point. And that's okay because everyone will have different types of skill sets. It put everything into perspective. When you're scuba diving, you're just you against the elements. You just switch off your mind and you just focus on what's ahead of you. And just this calm, serene sound in the water. For me, graduation was such a big deal because all the while in university, that thought comes lingering in, what if? What if Ian can't do this? What if only God can help me? You know, it did play on my mind a few times. But Queen's was really good in terms of you've got great support systems and great lecturers who definitely helped me in terms of my struggles. It's really enjoyable, very serene, that's the word, and cold. Yeah. <laughs> when I got the, the certificate, I thought, wow, I did it, this is it. To put the cherry on top, obviously, was getting a, a job after graduation. I did an internship with Airbus and I did an interview with them and got the undergraduate scheme with Airbus. For me, success means that I want to do it by myself and I did it for myself. It was just me against me to achieve that goal. I'm Ian, I'm from Malaysia and I'm an automation engineer.